Hi everybody, welcome to another YouTube video. So in this one I will show you something super exciting. Stay tuned. I took my massive telezoom lens with me on a hike to the highest mountain of Austria, the Großglockner. So actually it was the first time that I took this massive lens with me on a hike but I thought it would not harm to take it with me in case I'll see an alpine ibex. I didn't expect that anyway, but you never know. Visiting Großglocken is always an amazing experience, even when you live in Austria. I took several photos and videos on the road there with my standard zoom lens, but I left the big one in the car first. After our hike we enjoyed some coffee at the restaurant where I decided to get my telezoom from the car just to take some nice shots of all those cute marmots down there. After that we decided to explore another short path right behind the parking house to get a nicer view of the mountain. The sun was about to set at this moment, it was around 6 p.m. in the evening and the clouds there were just super epic so everything looked amazing up there and then it happened my husband discovered an alpine ibex on the mountain quite far away i was kind of overwhelmed and excited and i took a lot of photos of this tiny ibex climbing around that mountain in the distance after some minutes suddenly there were two more ibex running downhill, obviously enjoying their life up there in the mountains. I could not believe that this was actually happening because seeing an ibex is not that common, even if you're living in Austria. And then again, two further ones jumped towards us and then even more so, they came so close to the hiking trail I tried to get as close as possible to get some nice shots of these beautiful creatures. So at the end there were I think at least 15 of them. And then there was another photographer from Germany with a big lens too. And while chatting a little with him he told me that he was trying to photograph alpine ibex for 7 years now and he even attended some ranger tours to see them but he never was this close to those creatures. So this was an extremely lucky day for me and I think I spent at least half an hour there surrounded by all these beautiful animals. And now I'm painting one of my favorite shots that I took there. An ibex with an epic sky and a mountain in the background. As you see behind me, I already made the underpainting with burnt sienna and white acrylics. Now it's time to add some oil paint. Let's get started.
in the studio after four days of painting and I'm really happy with the painting and how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed the painting process and also our little trip to the Großglockner Mountain. It's definitely worth a visit. Thanks a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!